Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at U-Trailer and today we have a Yakima roof rack and we're going to take a look at how it fits here on our 2024 Kia Telluride. This specific roof rack is going to be the 50 inch long core bar with the Timberline towers for raised rails on your Telluride. So this may or may not fit your specific trim. So how do you figure out which trim you have? Well, if you use our fit guide here at eTrailer, we give you different options depending on what type of roof you have on your Telluride. So this specific roof is the raised rail style, meaning you can fit your hand underneath the rails. If you find that your rails are flush to the roof, then you have flush rails. If you don't have any rails, then you have a naked roof. So this is designed specifically for that raised rail. And the different kits we have available for the raised rail come with usually a longer crossbar. So the recommended crossbar length for your Telluride is gonna be the 60 inch bar. But in our case here, the specific owner of this vehicle wants a more low profile sleek look, which is why we have the 50 inch core bars out for you today. These core bars are gonna be an aerodynamic bar that allows the wind to just glide through the bar, decreasing the wind noise and drag you'll have on the road. I like the core bars because they're very straightforward, straight to the point, but they are lacking a channel for T-Trek mounted accessories. So if you like this style of a roof rack, but you want more versatility, check out the Jetstream bars available in the same sizes as the core bars from Yakima here at each trailer. These bars are gonna sit very sleekly to the roof though, meaning they're gonna be low profile. So taking some measurements, we're gonna measure from our roof to the bottom of the bar. That's gonna be three and a half inches of clearance. And then the space that this will add to your roof from the roof to the top of the bar is gonna be about four and a half inches. Now that measurement will change depending on if you're measuring over on the ridges or on the flat part of your roof. But this is important to know because that's where your cargo is going to sit. So what if you have skis with extra tall bindings? You wanna make sure there's enough clearance so the bindings don't hit the roof. And if you need more clearance, you start looking at accessories that give you more height. Another reason some people might prefer jet stream bars is because you do lose a little bit of usable crossbar space with this style of a roof rack. Notice where our tower is, you are unable to clamp any accessories around that tower area. And another thing too, is that since these are the 50 inch bars, you don't have any overhang, which is awesome if you want something that is very sleek. The downside is you are gonna have to reach further in in order to load and unload your accessories, which is why the extra five inches on each side isn't that bad at all. What I really like about the Timberline towers though are that they are towers that use a strap to secure to the rails. So rather than a clamp that pinches the rails, this one goes around creating that all around grip, meaning that as you tighten this down, this is super secured to your vehicle. But it also means that if you want to secure your roof rack, since it is an investment, you can lock it both with the metal lock cores that are sold separately, as well as these straps have metal underneath, so they just can't be cut through. When looking for different roof racks in order to expand your cargo space on your Telluride, because maybe you want to carry around kayaks or a roof box for extra cargo space, or you want to do a roof mounted bike rack, well, having a roof rack system is the most important thing to do first. And the Yakima roof rack is going to be a premium option, but it also has those premium features like great weight capacity made of really strong and durable materials, plus has that sleek look. Now, the differences there are going to be what type of crossbars are you going to have within the Yakima system. And we talked about core bars, jet stream bars, bars of different lengths as well. Hopefully, you'll be able to use that information looking through our product pages and descriptions, and that will help you find the best fit for your adventures. So for a sleek look, this is going to work out great for you. If you want to carry around maybe larger items and you want more crossbar space, go ahead and upgrade to the 60 inch jet stream bars. Either way, they're all gonna work very well for creating that strong and secure base on your Telluride. Now, we talked about how easy they are to install earlier on in this video. Let's go take a look at that. 
The installation process is very simple, especially since you have raised rail bars. The only thing you'll have to worry about is whether you have the jet stream or the core bars, since you will be using different adapter pieces. So I'm going to show you real quick how to set up your tower with your core bar adapter. This is your tower and get familiar with some of the bolts here. One is going to be the bolt that you need to access underneath. If you have trouble accessing it, pull the strap all the way tight and then you'll get access to that bolt. Now we're going to flip this around and get our plastic plate in. This goes in just like that and it pops into place. Once that's popped in, you can then attach your collar. So we're gonna put this on the crossbar first. Take off your end cap of your crossbar. Hold on to that, so you're gonna need it later. You're then going to fit your collar into your crossbar. And then we're gonna put the end cap right back in place. The tower fits over your collar just line up that bolt, grab your Yakima tool, and then thread that bolt onto the collar. And depending on your crossbar length, that will determine where you put your tower and tighten that down. In our case, we've already measured for our shorter bars, and we're gonna go just a couple inches away from that end cap. I do recommend double checking this on your roof first before tightening this down. This is a torque tool, so to prevent over tightening of those bolts, once you reach the proper tension, you're gonna hear it click like that. Now carefully lift your crossbars up and onto your raised rails. We're just gonna put them in the general vicinity of where we want them to go. And now we're going to measure for the crossbar spread that we want. The maximum crossbar spread you can get is going to be up to 42 inches. That's measured center to center. We're going to go to around 30 inches apart. So I'm going to move this in a little further. See that lines up and tighten down on both sides. Once all four towers are tightened down, then you cover them with their locking cover. These do click into place. And that's a look at the install process. Now, if you ever have to take this off and put it back on, it's just a matter of taking off that door and loosening those straps. That process will be the same whether you have the shorter bars or the longer crossbars. So this right here was a look at the Yakima roof rack with the 50 inch long core bar crossbars and the Timberline towers for raised rails here on the 2024 Kia Telluride.